How to make a consistent 2D avatar for less than $10, the no BS edition. Step one, create a 2D avatar that you're happy with using any of the 8 billion free image generators out there. Whisk, Sora, Rev.art, whatever, take your pick. Best practices, keep it simple. The more complex your character or clothing or accessories, the greater the likelihood of variance and therefore failure. Specify that your character be generated on a white background. This will make it much easier to add to scenes later on, and having no background will decrease overall image variance. Try to give your character a neutral expression. This will make it easier to switch to a wider range of different expressions and emotions later on. Be sure to give them plenty of space around and above their arms, especially if you want them to articulate or point or wave or anything like that. I kind of screwed myself with this character by having the top of the frame so close to his head, but I managed to work around it. Step two, create an account on openart.ai. Sign up for the one month plan at about $15. But wait, you said less than $10. Yeah, trust me, you're not gonna use all the credits unless you fuck up real bad. I didn't use all of mine and I messed up a lot before I figured out the right system. Step three, import your character image and go to the videos tab. Choose the Kling 2.1 model. I tried a bunch and this is the one that worked for me. 3D characters might be different, I'm not sure. Upload the character image you created. For the text prompt, be sure to specify stationary camera so that the camera doesn't move around at all and tell the character what to do. You'll probably want a wide range of emotions, happy, angry, pointing, speaking calmly, face palm, etc. whatever you think you'll need. If you would like your character to remain stationary, it might be helpful to add negative prompts like walking or turning. I wanted my character to remain seated, so I added the negative prompts standing and leaning, and that did the trick for me. Choose duration five seconds, quality mode standard, and let it run. Make sure that the output on the first clip looks acceptable before running a bunch of generations. Guess who made that mistake? Step four, download the clips and import them into a video editing software of your choosing. I use Premiere, but anything that will let you move frame by frame will do the trick. If you're looking for a free option, check out DaVinci Resolve and learn how to use it because it's awesome. Go through the clips one frame at a time until you find still images that look acceptable. Export them as PNG until you have everything you think you need in one folder. Step five, go back to openart.ai, scroll down and go to apps, ultimate upscale. Upload your images one at a time and use the precise upscale and fast version to upscale your images to 2K quality. Now, why not do the ultra version for 4K quality? It's the same price. Well, if your purpose is to use these images for basic stop motion style animation like I am, you'll want them to look as similar as possible. And I found that the ultra option added too much detail to the point where the differences between the images were very obvious. 2K quality was plenty good enough for my purposes, but feel free to check it out and make your own decision. Step six, download your upscaled images and enjoy your new avatar. Step seven, like and subscribe if this video saved you a little bit of time and money. I spent about 3000 credits or just over $10 to get about 24 high quality images and it took me the better part of an afternoon. But like I said, I messed up a lot. So hopefully when you're done, you'll have more credits to play around with. As a side note, I recommend you hold on to the original raw images as this will make it much easier for you to go back and make new expressions and positions later on. Just, just take my word for it, hold on to everything. Thanks for sticking around to the end and I'll see y'all next time.